murdered a young Spokane woman and her friend. Tonight, a convicted killer learns his fate. The case of a man who killed two people in a North Spokane home is over. Justin Crenshaw was sentenced today to two consecutive life terms without the possibility for parole for killing 18-year-old Sarah Clark and 20-year-old Tanner Pell. Friends and family of both fam victims filled the courtroom for a sentencing that took most of the day. KXOY 4's Tori Brene live at the courthouse. And Tori, everyone in that courtroom was touched by the memory of Tanner Pell and Sarah Clark. Yeah, more than 20 people spoke on behalf of Tanner and Sarah. They told stories about their lives and talked about the huge loss they feel because of the violent crime that Justin Crenshaw committed. Even the judge and both attorneys said they will never forget Tanner and Sarah. The world was hers for the taking, and she could make her life what she wanted until February 28th of 2008. Those closest to Sarah Clark and Tanner Pell took one last chance to make sure their killer understood what he had taken from them. Sarah's family spoke about a one-of-a-kind person who didn't get her chance to make an impact on the world and the irreparable damage Justin Crenshaw did to their family. I cannot begin to imagine the fear and the terror that Sarah felt as she was being attacked the many, many knife blows, the fact that her last breaths drew blood into her lungs. Then Tanner Pell's family spoke, sharing a similar story of loss and grief. On Monday, Tanner comes into my bedroom early and he said, Mom, please call in sick today so we can spend the day together. You know, some mommy tanny time. I wish now I would have done a better job and he might have had some chance against you, Justin. He might have been able to defend himself. Tanner's sister talked directly to the man that killed her brother, saying she hopes to forgive him. That's something I will try with the rest of my life. <laughs> I know that's what Tanner would want me to do. Crenshaw looked at each person with little expression. The families will never know how he feels. The judge gave Crenshaw four chances to speak. He declined. No, thank you, Your Honor. I uh, don't want to take anything away from any of the families. My attorney covered for me. And, um, that. Judge Eitzen said she has never sat on a trial like this one. She wanted the families to know Tanner and Sarah will never be forgotten. I would tell you this person to person, not as a judge, but I felt the heavy responsibility of all the pain in this room. As Justin Crenshaw walks towards a life behind bars, the families say they are serving a life sentence of their own. We, Sarah's family and friends, are serving a life sentence without her. Her murderer deserves no less than a life sentence. The judge said Krenza has always been respect, respectful, and she said part of her pain and sympathy is extended to him because she feels he is a damaged person. In Spokane, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News.